to make right decisions, get input, ask questions, discuss. Proverbs 11 and verse 14, where there is no counsel, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. There are many scriptures in the book of Proverbs that, that teach us to talk about receiving counsel. Counsel, of course, from the right people. So one important facet of, uh, in the process of decision making is to learn to ask questions, uh, get input, get information, gather all the information that you need to make that decision, and also to be open to discussing uh, the information and, and uh, the various uh, scenarios around that decision with people who would be able to help you arrive at the right decision. You see, many of us as believers, uh, we tend to isolate ourselves and we, uh, we tend to say we don't need this. We don't need to talk to anybody. We don't need to get input. We don't need to, you know, discuss something. Uh, but that is actually a wrong posture. The right thing, as the Bible teaches us, is that in the multitude of counselors, in the multitude of people who are helping with the decision-making process, there is safety. Because where there is no counsel, you, you're unnecessarily exposing yourself to potential danger and a fall. So uh, even as we are asking God for His guidance and His wisdom, even as we apply the truth of God's Word, even as we are using our renewed mind to prove what is good and acceptable and pleasing to God, even as we continue to listen to the inner witness of the Holy Spirit, even as we are praying in tongues, another important component of our decision-making process is to talk to people, the right kind of people, of course, who will be able to advise us and to bring uh, to bear their understanding on the matter that needs to be uh, addressed and on which decisions are being made. So you get the right people together uh, and you ask questions, you discuss, you get input. Now, there is the, the, the right and the wrong here in this whole process. In this whole process, we must be careful not to be uh, swayed by some individual opinion or opinions that may not be necessarily right. So we must hold on to all the other aspects of our decision-making process. For instance, if people give input or people give ideas that contradict the Word of God, you are still going to stand by the Word of God. You're not going to let the Word of God down just because you're following somebody's advice. Or if people say something that in some way contradict the witness of the Holy Spirit, you're going to stay with the witness of the Holy Spirit. So the right, wrong, the, the right posture is, as you are discussing, as you are listening to people, as you, the people are sharing their thoughts and ideas, you pick up those things that are good, that are noble, that, that are fruitful, that are beneficial, that are aligned to the Word of God, aligned to the leading of the Holy Spirit, and then you, you, you take those and then you work uh, those ideas together as you go forward in your decision-making process. So, in as much as there is tremendous value in getting input, in discussing the matter, and asking questions and gathering information, we still have a plumb line. We still have a way to uh, uh, assess what we should take and what we should reject. And then we gather the right things together and then we proceed to making our decision. This is an important part of our decision-making process as the Bible teaches us. So make use of it whenever you can, as often as possible. Let's pray. Father, we just ask, that as we make various decisions, God, we will know the right people to go to, to discuss, to talk, and ask counsel, and, and receive input, so that we could arrive at the decisions that are good, that are aligned to your will, that will glorify you, that will help us walk into your purposes for our lives. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.